Hello and welcome back to AirTech Hunting. We're out on the farm again, this time with the FX Dreamline Classic and we've got a brand new scope on here, so sit back and enjoy. Busy setting up the FX Dreamline with the brand new Element Optics Helix HDLR and I'm busy loading the 21 grain javelins in here, which is a perfect little slug for this gun. Not super powerful, not a big shot count, obviously we just have a little uh, air cylinder here. But yeah, it's also a very nice option to shoot with. It's got the GRS stock on there as well, which makes it a very premium looking rifle as well. After getting the gun ready, we immediately went to a location where we spotted loads of house sparrows in a nearby field. <laughs> Close one, 28 meters. There's so many of them. Just like a whole flock over there flying around. More coming in as well. For a change, it's actually a very beautiful day. There's very little wind. I do expect the wind to come up a little bit later as the day goes on. But at the moment, it's just a little bit of a breeze coming through every now and again, but not very strong. We don't even have to hold anything for it. So that makes it uh, much, much easier, especially on these small targets like the sparrows. And we just set up over here because they seem to be sitting all over the fences here and on the grass and the bushes. So it's a quite, quite a good spot to start with. Maggie was already arranging the next one, dialed in the distance and was ready for the next shot. Yes, 54 meters, my first one for today. <laughs> with no wind she can hold dead on and hits this one center mass. What is nice today is there's a little bit of cloud scattered around so the sun disappears behind it every now and again, like now. And then it gets uh, nice and cool, but when it gets out from behind those clouds, it gets hot again. The cooler weather also makes the sparrows much more active. Fifty meters and down. Again I'm holding dead on and can't ask for a better impact. As mentioned, we are shooting the FX Dreamline today. It is configured to shoot the 21 grain.218 Javelin at 930 feet per second with the regulator 150 bar and transfer port fully open. This gun also features the very ergonomic GRS laminated stock Donny FL Koi silencer and the brand new Helix HDLR scope from Element Optics. Mm -hmm. Yes, 85 meters. The hold is dead on again and this one connects him right in the head. <laughs> 53 meters and down. I hold for a very slight breeze here but it has no effect on the slug. Lucky for me I still hit him by the slimmest of margins. There you go, 71 meters. So what I'm doing there is I'm looking at the Mirage and you can actually see in the scope the Mirage was slightly moving to the left. Not a lot, so I just held a little bit off to the right and got him. By now the wind has picked up a little bit and also notice how the feathers move with the Mirage. That's kind of shooting the 21 grain .218 javelins at 930 feet per second which is under limit of this gun. So basically the power on this gun is maxed out, which doesn't make it very efficient. So you get about one magazine and we have to refill. That's the only downside. So we're heading back now to refill and then we're gonna reset, maybe find another spot and carry on again. Lucky for us, the truck was nearby and it was just a quick walk away. The thing is, it doesn't really matter to me at the moment because my truck is always nearby with a lot of air and it's nice to take a break now and again anyway. And then uh, I'm going to fill up, fill the magazine, reset, and then it also forces you to get up from where you are and go find another spot. So yeah, all good. Now you kind of get spoiled by the bottles, especially like on the Wildcat BT and, and those type of guns. And then when you move back to these small cylinders again, you kind of appreciate them a little bit more. Now we just quickly refill the magazine with these little 21 grains. And I don't know why, but these are now my favorite little slug. I struggle to go back to the heavy stuff now because these shoot so nicely. Now we're all filled up again. Magazines are full and we're going to head into a different direction and see what we can find. 
Maggie was quick to spot a few pigeons on a nearby roof and then it was just a matter of finding a place to shoot them from. Ooh, down he goes. Okay, so that was 42 meters. I think it was a hit shot. This luck actually hits the wing and ricochets right into this pigeon's head. So technically, I guess you can call it a headshot. Cut that one, down it went. Another 42 meters, nice. <laughs> Maggie aimed for the neck here and the result is exactly what she wanted. There was one more pigeon left but this time a little further off. Yes, that was a nice impact and there it goes, boom, at 69 meters. Another deadly accurate shot by Maggie and this time she even manages to follow him all the way down to the ground. Right, so that was a nice bonus. Maggie spotted three pigeons. We moved down here to get a shot on them. Took all three down and the, the rest of them flew away now, but there's quite a big flock in the area so we might, might get them again. I hope so. so. I think this was pigeon number two. We got that one nicely in the neck chest area there. This was pigeon number one, first one that went down. Actually, a little bit of a white colored one, very interesting. Also there through the, the neck there, and it looked like it came out in the bottom here. Oh, that's interesting. That's three. And the other one came down here. We can find him as well. Bit of a more normal looking one. We're moving the sun there for the camera. Also looks like it's went through the neck there. Good shooting by Maggie, good shot placement. Three down, awesome. There you go, three pigeons. Three beautiful shots by Maggie, straight down. Awesome shooting. So a lot of you ask what we do with these pigeons, we're actually going to take these home, we put them in the freezer and every now and again a falconer come and picks them up because he feeds them to his falcons and that's what we do. We don't really eat them ourselves, it's not a lot of meat, it's a lot of effort to clean them and things. Obviously the falcons will eat them just like that because they prefer the feathers, they actually need it for their digestive system. So we leave them just like that and it's just a way that we can contribute to help with that as well. I did a quick check to see if there are more pigeons there, but they're not back yet. They're still flying around, so we're going to move back to the other side, see if we can get some more sparrows down. Down he goes, 63 meters. I hold a little bit too much for the wind here, but I still get him just by the nick of things and I can assure you he wouldn't last long. We then saw the pigeons land on the back of the roof again and quickly decided to move down there and see if we can get one more. It seems like there's a little bit of a pigeon hotspot on the roofs over here, so we're going to see if we can set up here somewhere. Now the thing is they're nesting in there, so they're going into the roof. But if we are patient and just hang around a bit, we will catch them as they come and sit on the roof before we before they go into the roof and get them then. I think there's one there now, not really seen. But yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a patience game. I think we're just gonna set up here, wait it out a bit, see if we can catch one as he comes in. They're very active, so they come in and out quite a lot. So they're busy feeding in the fields and then move in and move out a lot. So set up, get the distance, get the scope dialed in, everything, get it ready, get ready for the shot and as they land, just take the shot. We were quite lucky and the first one came and sat right down. Down he goes, 65 meters. So that one was resting there but on the roof there. The nests are right there, so there's a lot going in and out of that uh, little gap. Let me just show you. You see that gap there? 
they go in there and that's where they nest so I think we're gonna get a few more here or I hope so well we were hoping to get a few more here but after waiting for quite some time we decided to give up and move on but at least I got this one down and it was quite a challenging and rewarding shot so we waited long enough now it's just getting too hot in the sun and the pigeons aren't coming out of the net so we kind of gave up and gonna move back to the truck now so while I walk back let's quickly talk about this new scope it's called the Element Optics Helix HDLR it's part of two new scopes released by Element Optics they fall right in between the entry level the Helix and the Titan now what they've done is they've upgraded the helix glass to titan level glass so more glass elements better coatings things like that to give you a a step up from entry level but not completely mid-range so also these scopes are more geared towards two very specific hunter types um, lr is long range it's more for the open field type hunter and then the normal hd is more for the close quarter hunter like your, your european hunting in between woods and and things like that um, if you want to learn more about these scopes, I'm not going to go into full detail here. Element Optic did a very nice uh, YouTube video on their channel, I'll link it down below. That explains all the new features on these scopes, from glass to what they did with the turrets for to cater for these types of hunters. There's nice features in there, um, nice detailed video and it explains what their thinking is behind all the changes they've made to these. So these are two very nice scopes, go check them out, um, I think you'll like them as well, especially if you're a hunter like me. <laughs> Down it goes, 44 meters. <laughs> Suddenly we just lost all the cloud cover we had and it's now full on 35 degrees Celsius and you can even see the heat through the scope now, so we're suffering a bit. So I don't think we're going to keep on doing this for too much longer. Um, but yeah, I recorded a nice little session of the Mirage through the scope here for you as well. Um, just so you can see the, the type of clarity you get with this new updated glass on the scope. Yes, nice one. <laughs> So with that shot we had enough of the heat and it was time for us to head home. Well that is it, we are done for the day. It started out nice and cool and ended up very hot but we enjoyed it anyway. I hope you did as well, if you did hit the like button, remember to subscribe, also follow us on Instagram and then we'll see you next time. Cheers! Yeah.